Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I'm going to use some pretty pink posh products from their January release to make some Valentine envelope treat holders. So let's take a look at the products that I'll be using. First is the Sweet Note die set, and with this die set you can make a 3 inch by 3 inch miniature envelope. I'm also going to be using the Heart Critters stamp set. This is a 4x6 stamp set that has three critters on it. There's also some Valentine sentiments as well as the word love and hugs. And with the coordinating dies, you can actually cut the words love and hugs out as well as all the other images that you see there. Next is the Potted Roses stamp set. This is a 3x4 stamp set and there's also the coordinating dies available for that one too. I will have links to all of these products as well as all of the products that you see me use in my video today and those links will be down in the description box below as well as on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. So if you are interested in making a purchase, I always appreciate your support by using my links. So I'm going to start out by coloring up my images. I went ahead and stamped the images with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to do the coloring. I'm going to start out with the Panda. And I'm using the cool gray six color as well as the blender to get that dark black color. So I laid some of the cool gray six color down and then I used the blender marker to blend that out. So it goes from a shade of a dark to a lighter color. These are watercolor pens, so they are water-based, so they blend very easily um, with the blender marker that I'm using, but you can also use a water brush or a paintbrush with water, and that would do the same thing. For the belly, I'm using the cool gray one along the edge and then using the blender to blend that towards the center. I wanted to keep the belly as well as the head look mostly white, so I just put a little bit of that cool gray one color around the edges just to add a little bit of a shadow there so it didn't look completely flat. For the rose, I used the red as well as the blender. And for the leaf, I used the light green and the blender. Now I'm gonna move on to the koala and I'm using the dark gray along the edge. Once I color the edge with the dark gray, I'll come in with my light gray and color over top of that and extend it in towards the center a little bit. And then I will take the blender marker and I will blend that color all the way towards the edge there of the ears and then towards the center of the inside of the face as well as the rest of the body. So while I'm coloring up this koala, I do want to let you know that this card that I'm making today is part of a Pretty Pink Posh Instagram haul where you have a chance to win a gift certificate to the Pretty Pink Posh store. And I will have more information on my Instagram page at Lisa Mears Designs. So if you go over to my Instagram and you find the picture of the card that I'm making, you will see in the description description, more information about that hop. Also, I'm not showing the coloring of the leopard for this stamp set because I did show the coloring of that image on a different video and I will link it at the top right hand corner of this video. It was the video where I used all of the stencils in the Valentine release. There were four cards that I made using all of the Valentine stencils from Pretty Pink Posh. So if you want to see the coloring of the leopard, check out that video. Okay, so for the pink color on the koala, I'm using the light carmine and the blender. The lock and key, I have the yellow for the key and I'm also using the deep red and red for the heart. And then I'm going to color up the rose. The rose I'm coloring with red, deep red, and blender as well as light green for the leaf. Okay, so for the heart, I'm going to color it up in red, but add some of the deep red for a darker shadow, and then use the blender to blend that out. Here the key is the same color as the one prior. 
the yellow color. And then for this heart, I'm going to color this up with the sugar almond pink. This is the lighter pink. And then I'm going to come in with the red for the ribbon. Use the blender to blend that out. Use a little bit of the deep red to add some shadow. I'll show you a quick preview here of what that leopard looks like once I colored it. So again, if you want to see the coloring on that, be sure to check out the video that I made with the four stenciled Valentine cards. And then all the other hearts are going to be the same colors as the first heart. So I will have a list of all of the colors that I used on my stamp image today down in the description box below as well as on my blog. So if you want to duplicate any of these colors you can. So for the Potted Roses stamp set I am not going to show the coloring of the two Potted Roses because I showed them in that other video but I'm just going to show the coloring of this border strip of roses with the three roses. I'm going over the bottoms of the petals with the deep red to add some shadow and then just going over that deep red with some of the red color. Once I've colored all of the bottoms of those petals I'm just going to come in with my blender tool to blend that out. And again, if you don't have a blender tool, use a water brush or a paintbrush with water. It does the same thing. Okay, so once I color up all of those roses, I'll color up the leaves and the leaves I'll be using the light green and the blender. So after coloring the stamps, I'm going to come in with a white gel pen and I'm just going to add some dots around those petals. I think it just adds a little bit of depth to the stamped image and I'm going to do that for all of those flowers. Next I'm going to take the Sweet Note die set and I am going to use my wire cutters to cut this square die right out of the middle. That square die is a layering die and you'll die cut that with some cardstock to layer on top of the section on your envelope. So those are the two dies that it comes with and I went ahead and die cut the square die with some white cardstock. The square die does have some stitching all around the edges and I'm just going to take some mint tape and I'm going to mask off the edges by lining up the edge of the mint tape with the stitched lines. And I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Scattered Hearts stencil to add some hearts all over this background. The ink I'm using is the Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink. Once I finish with that layer, I am going to reposition that same stencil and add some pink hearts to the background. So this time I'm using the Kitsch Flamingo ink and you can see that I'm just putting that stencil over the different white areas of that square piece of cardstock and I'm using a detailed blending brush to ink up only specific hearts. The detailed blending brush gives me more control over the hearts that I'm inking up so that I don't get other hearts on my design. So now I'm going to go ahead and take off the masking tape and you can see that my hearts are confined to the inside of all of those stitched lines. So now I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one square with the panda and I'm going to add the roses at the bottom. And I stamped out a sentiment that says lots of love and I cut it out with my scissors and I'm going to add it to the front. Okay, so there's one card front and now I'm going to do one more with the koala. So this time I'm going to put the koala in the middle. I did stamp out the sentiment hugs and kisses and that's going to go underneath the koala. I'm also going to put the heart lock in his hand. So here I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment underneath and then I'm going to add the double hearts there off to the left of the sentiment. Alright, so here I die cut a piece of red cardstock with the Sweet Note die. You can see that they're stitching all around the right side as well as the flap on the left. And there are also two score lines. There's one right here and one next to the small flap on the left side. So I've already folded at those score lines. So I'm just going to fold this envelope up so you can see what this looks like. And then the little small flap, it actually gets tucked under this oval shape that's cut out. 
and that's what your envelope would look like. So I'm going to go ahead and take the square die and I die cut a piece of pattern paper and I'm going to add this piece of pattern paper to the inside. That way I have a little bit of color when the recipient opens the envelope. I'm going to add one of the small hearts on the bottom left hand corner of that inside piece. And then I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to put two of them on the back of this Ghirardelli chocolate. And I love how these Ghirardelli chocolate squares fit perfectly on the inside of these envelopes. So after I add the Ghirardelli chocolate, I'll go ahead and add the panel with the koala and I'll add that to the actual front of my envelope. And then I will take this small heart, just going to put a little bit of glue on the top of it and attach it to the small flap. And I'm going to tuck that little red piece in to the oval cut out and then I'm just going to put a little bit of tape runner on the back of my heart just so that it sticks closed because you remember this Ghirardelli chocolate it's a little bit thicker if you didn't have the chocolate piece in it and you were just writing a little note inside the flap on the back of the envelope would close much easier but because it's a little bit thicker with the Ghirardelli chocolate square I did want to put a little bit of tape runner on the back of that heart to keep that shut so here's two that I made you can see the koala is with the red cardstock and the panda bear I put on some pink cardstock and I just love how this turned out. These are cute gifts for friends, family, coworkers, even for teachers. So once again, all supplies will be in the description box below. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications for more crafty inspiration from me. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.